Alright, back for round two. Earlier today, I showed you when I began this uh, structure test. I'm not a structure welder, but you know, yesterday I completed um, the pipe test and you know, they wanted me to actually qualify on this here, this one inch plate. 718 it out, as you can see. One of the most important things of welding this thing here is one inch plate. You gotta actually remember. A lot of times when you go on these test booths or these different companies, they wanna see this right here. They don't wanna see you start maybe here and it's a lack of weld from this point to that point. So you gotta make sure when you're striking off, you're striking off from back here. Using this backing strip to strike off and then drag and basically gradually make your way into your weld zone. But this is about six hours later. This is a 3G vertical. And it's common to see this right here at the bottom is where you're actually going off and carrying your weld bead all the way out. That's how you want to do that. This is my overhead. They call 4G position. Same deal. Test came out good. Okay. And this is the way it's actually this it's uh, actually set up, okay? Um, man, I'm hot. It's a little device like this right here. There you go. There go my overhead. So, this is how I go, and this is what I'm going to be teaching you guys that want to learn how to weld and make some money. It's not hard, it's actually easy, it's just got to take a little bit of practice, it takes a little practice, you know, just like riding a bike, um, it's like anything, you want to do it, you're going to do it. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take these down and we're going to bend them, we're going to cut them with the machine and we're going to bend them. They all purposely try to break them to see if it holds up. And uh, after that, that's it. I'll get back with you.